I've been asked to do a quick video on how to uh, install and make use of Luke FZ's FSR3 mod. Um, what I'm going to do, um, because I don't want to inadvertently show any links or anything that um, Luke hasn't approved, is I'm going to show you where you can get, um, where you can find his Patreon, how you would join his site, uh, let you know the steps that you would need to make, um, and then where to look for the files without actually showing you on on the website in case I leak anything that's that's not meant to be leaked. But I will then show you how I've installed or how you would install these mods into various games. I'll just show an example with one game, um, but it does apply to, to a lot of others as well. I would like to stress as well that I can't provide support for this mod. Things are changing fast. He is developing it quickly. Um, I'm currently using 0 0.60. There's a 0 0.70 already, but I tried that on Last of Us and Last of Us wouldn't boot up. So I've gone back to 0 0.60. But if you remember, um, you'll obviously be able to get the latest and, and find out what's been implemented there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to patreon.com slash lukefz. I will put this URL in the description down below. And if you scroll down, you'll see that you've got uh, a membership that you can join. So the one you can do is um, the, the minimum one, Beta Enjoyer. And I joined this. It's showing in pounds for me because I'm in the UK. And it was actually six pounds because there's um, a VAT charge. So local sales tax will apply. So you would just join here. So if I click on that, um, it's asking me to log in, but obviously you will have paid for things before. Just go through the process and sign up. Now, once you're signed up, um, you'll come back to his website and there will be a new option up at the top called membership. If you, uh, you know, in this, this sort of area, if you click on membership, there's a link to his discord server. So, um, if you're familiar with Discord, great. If not, you may have to create a Discord account um, and then link it. But essentially, when you click that um, membership link, there'll be various mods and then there's there's a link to the Discord server. And you're going to want to click that link and it will automatically, or at least it did for me, associate um, your Patreon account with the um, Discord for these mods. And um, you'll, you'll get access almost immediately. Now to find the mods that we're going to be using, um, there's a specific, I don't know what the term is on Discord, it's a folder or a thread, a thread probably, um, called mod-releases. And within there, there's, um, there's a, another thread, I guess, um, and it's in square brackets, heavily WIP, which stands for work in progress. So it's just to make you aware that this is changing constantly. It's not the final software. Uh, FSR2, FSR3. And if you click in there, there's a number of um, entries. If you scroll down to the bottom, you find the mo most recent version of the uh, mod. And you can read the details on the mod to see if it applies to AMD. As of the time of this video, it's 0 0.70, but I am using 0 0.60. So go ahead and download those mods. Now, what I did is um, I downloaded to my desktop. Um, can you see? So I'm not sure if it, it's showing too great on the screen here, but um, what we have is a file named and it's FSR2, FSR3. Um, that's SDK. If I hover over this, okay, if I click it, so you'll see that it's got FSR2, FSR3, and then it's got 210. So that would be the, the, the one you would want to use with games that implement FSR 2.1. This one is uh, 200. So that's the one that you would use for uh, just plain old FSR2. Um, and then the final one is FSR 220. So that would be the one for 2.2. So remove the, the decimal place 
or period, whichever you want to call it, and that will give you the one that you want to do. So what we'll do now is I, I've just done The Last of Us, and that was FSR2. So you open the relevant file, a zip file, and I'm just going to click the little box next to each of these, and then I'm going to I'm going to use this button, which is just copy. So we copy them into the paste buffer. So if your game is in Steam, you will want to. So here we are, Last of Us. You will want to go over here to set uh, manage properties and you would want to go installed files and if we click browse okay come on <laughs> okay it's because there's already a window with the location. So what will happen if it, if you don't have um, File Explorer already opened, it'll open up a new window and take you here. So this should be the, the location of the main XE for the game that you're playing. So this is um, Last of Us. And then what you would do is you would right click on the onto this folder and you would use this little button here, Paste. Now this is going to give me an ad additional warning saying replace the files in the destination because it's already there. It, it should be fine for you. It should just copy them in. So I'm going to say replace the files. And that's the mod installed. So for non-Steam uh, game launchers, you would need to find the location of the exe file. And, so, and each of them have their way of showing you where that is. Um, and just paste the files that you've taken from that zip into the same place. Now, how do you know it's working? So if I start this game now, um, what will happen is this window will come up, or a couple of windows, and it's sort of just saying that, it, that it's basically hooking it into the FSR2 process, uh, replacing it with FSR3, and the game's now starting as normal. And so if we just click in here, and I'll load the game. Now, this version of the software has um, problems with head-up displays. Um, anything like text on the screen, if you're moving about, it, it gives it a little jitter, a little side-to-side -side shaking. Um, it's not too bad, but it's... A very good way of finding out if you're see if the, the if the mod is actually working. So there, um, so if I pop this up, you can see as I move around, it's shaking away. But also a really good indication is that I've got this in 1200p, and we've got 74 to 77 frames per second. So I hope this is useful. Um, obviously, I can't provide support for this, but once you've joined that Discord. I guess you have the, the route there to potentially ask how to install things. I'm not sure if it's that, that kind of a community as yet. But I hope this is useful. Thanks for watching.